Good morning, folks. Over 50 million people are under tornado threat this weekend. We've had big quakes and we'll check out a flurry of news articles staying right here in the solar system. Let's begin with the sun. Last 24 hours on our star were relatively calm. Large bright active region approaching center heliographic longitudes and still not firing big solar flares. The magnetic complexity has not been there in the sunspots and the field setup above the sunspot shows minor motions and very little collisional potential. We've had only a few small flares in B-class range, but nothing else, so we go to the solar wind. Sort of a continued day of fluctuating plasma streams, but all of those fluctuations are in low-intensity range. Earth's magnetosphere, all quiet. The coronal holes are becoming largely confined to the polar regions. That is a sign of the approaching solar cycle change. More on that in just a moment. First, we've been talking about this storm for days. It is developing a bit more slowly than anticipated, so we didn't get anything major last night. But that extra organization time is what will explode today and all weekend up the convergence line of the eastern side of the low-pressure cell. Eyes open, and when you hear the sirens, probably not a joke. By Monday morning, the storm line will be moving off into the Atlantic. Well, speaking of tornadoes, big news is out about Nepal's first tornado ever recorded. They are not totally uncommon in regions just to the south, but this is unusually placed and was one of the deadlier weather events in Asia the last few months. We've had yet another big earthquake here, 6.8 in Indonesia. We also had complementary 5.9 and 5.8 along the same ridge leading from the Indian Ocean across to Oceania and the Pacific. Let's look at the auroras. An interesting study claims to have a line on better forecasting of the highest energy electrons in the Van Allen belts and how they can lead to destroyed satellites and more due to electric currents induced in the atmosphere and ground by strong space weather. Up next, it's the March U.S. climate report. As a country, it came in below the mean. It was colder than average last month for most. And we also see where the snow records that did fall during the month were found. Below average precipitation surrounding it northwest end up the Gulf and East Coast. Up next, the first of something humans are going to start seeing time and time again into the future, collisions and breakups of space debris. The passing streaks are background stars. The bright points are an old abandoned upper stage rocket that is being targeted and slewed to keep centered, and its pieces are breaking up further. Nothing scary about this one, except when you remember how much is really up there waiting to come down. That's our future. As far out as we go today is Mars. Curiosity appears to have made its first clay-bearing drill hole. Before and after shot here, and as a matter of fact, the whitest parts of the ground are the super-thin ice layers laid down by condensed vapor at night and covered up minutes to days later with the red dust from the wind. Finally, our top story. Dr. Lisa Upton has favored us at two straight observing the frontier conferences. She is the number one solar forecaster on the planet, and now she has been selected to co-chair the committee that has officially forecasted Solar Cycle 25 for the U.S. government. It is the same forecast you have heard here with one slight exception. Every indication is that at least one more sunspot cycle is coming before a grand minimum. And this forecast from the U.S. government agrees with our own forecast of a very similar cycle to the one we've just had. Where things differ is that same power cycle in this report is said to be a sign that the solar decline is over and grand minimum isn't coming. But also dynamo models can't predict more than one cycle ahead. She's told us that. They think the next cycle will begin within about one year with a three to six year ramp up to the maximum. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.